I think I was three years old. Um, and it was like a Saturday morning. And for some reason, I don't know why, um, before our, our, our church service, my father's a drummer. He and I were both in the living room and I flipped over at like a small garbage can. Um, and I just was like, I just remember going at it. And like from that moment on, everything about music, it just like, like pulled me in. And like since then, it's been in my heart and in my bones and, and, and I'm, I just love it. I love it. Inez interview, take one. I'm a communicator. I'm a very communicative person. So being able to pick up a bass, even if I can't read bass music, being able to pick up a guitar, being able to sit at keys, it's an extension of my communication. When I'm in the studio, when I get there, I'm at home. I'm at home. There's no limitations. There's no expectations. It's, it's a place where I try to not put pressure on myself. I just want to create. The, the biggest thing for me is articulating an idea, um, but at the root of that idea is always a feeling. Um, so if I've articulated that, I've done my job. Um, and as long as the environment is conducive for me being able to, to get the feeling and to get the ideas both out, um, I'm at peace. It's, there's no social media in here. There's no, usually I'm by myself, so there's no like external pressure other than me connecting with the music. Um, and connecting with the feeling and, um, and the truth of, of, of what I want to create in that moment. Welcome back to another episode of Girls Running. It's important for black women to occupy musical spaces because we are, we're the, we are the mothers, you know, like, we are the backbone and Without us, things would not be. So I think for me, showing and modeling that, um, be it production, be it my songwriting, be my performance, be the fact that I'm a black woman who graduated cum laude from the Berklee College of Music in production and I can audio engineer, like that is like, y'all gonna stop acting like we not here and we don't exist. When I see any black woman, no matter the medium, whether she's a entrepreneur, whether she's a, a writer, whether she's a doctor, trying to big that up and say, hey, we've been here, we deserve our praise, we deserve our honor, and we deserve our respect. I hope and pray that throughout my entire journey, because I'm only beginning, I haven't, even, I haven't hit my prime yet, um, that I'm worthy of all of it, um, truly.